Ooh, today's a good one. Are we gonna piss some people off? Or maybe not? Today we tackle if vegan is healthy. <laughs> Hello to all our friends. If you're new here, consider subscribing. We do health tips, tricks and hacks videos on Sundays and Mythbuster videos just like this one on Thursdays. So shall we get Mythbusting and figure out whether this is a myth or a fact? As always, these videos have a subject, the facts, the opinions and the research and the long awaited, finally, the verdict or the conclusion. So let's dive in. The subject, what is a vegan diet? A vegan diet is solely based on plant-based products and also eliminates any bi animal byproducts such as honey. The rationales for choosing a vegan diet or a lifestyle ranges from moral reasons to health reasons. And I think that's enough to explain what a vegan diet is. So let's tackle the facts, the figures, and what the research tells us. Number one, morality in the meat industry. In today's commercial world, the meat and the dairy industry is purely focused on commercial gains. That translates to larger amounts of meat to be produced in a shorter amount of time. And that results in a appalling treatment of animals in this industry. It's actually insane how certain farmers treat these animals. They shove them into confined spaces. They feed them with absolute crap use antibiotics to raise these animals in a very short amount of time, use non-traditional butchering techniques which raise the fear in animals, and sometimes even use excruciating methods to extract milk. So I completely understand the morality associated with a wider meat and, meat and dairy industry is absolutely appalling. Number two, meat is unhealthy. And due to these appalling and non-traditional methods of raising animals, it naturally questions whether meat is actually healthy. If non-traditional farming methods have moved to feeding animals through genetically modified food or hormones and antibiotics to keep these animals alive and raise them within 12 or 60 days, do you actually think that you're feeding yourself with nutritional value? We personally don't think so. At that point, you're only feeding yourself with water, toxic fat and hormone altered tissue, which literally means that you're just consuming empty calories. So meat that's found in non-traditional environments and commercially marketed environments are not healthy. Number three, vegetables are nutritionally dense. This is a supporting factor. Vegan diet has a large amount of vegetables, grains, and plant-based products, which are very high in micronutrients that the human body craves. And with the current lifestyles, we, in most instances, ignore this because it's not at a ease to grab them off of a shelf of a supermarket. From a nutritional perspective, the micronutrients that's added to the diet through a plant-based diet is completely valuable. So now, given that we agree that the morality of the meat industry or the lack of morality in the meat and dairy industry, coupled with the lack of nutritional value and the increased amount of nutritional value that vegetables provide us, does that naturally translate to the verdict of a vegan diet is healthy. Well, we think there's a little catch. Number four, green vegetables and the agriculture industry. Just like in the meat and dairy industry, the plant-based in the agricultural industry are also motivated through commercial means. That means that there's genetically modified fertilizers being used, insecticides and pesticides, which then gets into our diet through the green leafy vegetables that we consume, which also have detrimental effects on your health. So purely shifting away from one type of agriculture to another doesn't technically move you away from the health impacts that come through the agricultural industry in this age. Let's get a little bit scientific. Number five, bioavailability. The ability for our body to absorb the micronutrients available in the food that we consume. For micronutrients such as calcium, there's only a 5% chance for you to absorb calcium through a plant-based source such as spinach. That would mean that you need to have 16 cups of spinach to get the same amount of calcium as equivalent to a glass of milk. Humans as herbivores. If we track back across 2.5 million years ago, all studies show that humans have always had a diet that included plant and meat products. Or even to the recent history, science has proved us that the human body has evolved enough to move completely away from meat to absorb 
all required micronutrients and macronutrients. Next on the line, nutritional deficiencies. And I think you've heard this everywhere if you ever researched a topic sim similar to this, B12 deficiencies. And this has been scientifically proven and we've linked non-observational studies in the description below. So if you want, check it out. However, moving away from that, there is a possibility that you might be losing out on calcium as we mentioned before, iron, zinc, DHA or EPA and certain vitamins that are fat soluble such as vitamin A and vitamin D. Huge disclaimer, yes, these can all be supplemented but again, the challenge is are they bioavailable? Number eight, soil erosion and greenhouse effect. Both industries contribute to a large extent of our current greenhouse effect. And I completely agree that the animal industry takes you all the way up to three quarters of that effect. However, the plant industry does impact the greenhouse effect as well, and it cannot be discounted altogether. Number nine, artificial flavors and additives. In most instances, we use chemicals to replace the flavors of meat and dairy. And these chemicals we can't even pronounce. So I'm going to list them all out here. Whether it may be fake meat to fake cheese, all of these chemicals are either under testing today or have done very limited testing to be approved by the FDA and all recent research or post research which uses extent, extensive amounts of these chemicals prove negative and detrimental effects on your health. Impact on gut microbiome. I've seen individuals who have toast and jam and sugar and coffee and call themselves vegan. And, I, and this is by no means extending and generalizing to all individuals who are following a vegan lifestyle. But in all honesty, if that's the type of food that you choose to eat in a particular diet, I personally don't believe or and I don't think you believe that that is nutritionally found to support your body. In addition to that, if you have conditions such as a leaky gut, adding food types such as grains and legumes could worsen this situation as it's not very easy to be digested. Last but not least, marketing. Vegans and massive industry, people take advantage of that. People tend to follow social idols or celebrities because with the expectation that they have the best nutritional support around them. However, these are darkly linked to commercially oriented avenues, which in turn makes people blindly follow these celebrities because they follow a particular diet and lifestyle. Everything that we've discussed on this video and supporting research is linked on the description below. With all that said, do you think that we're ready to bust this myth? Is vegan healthy? No, it's not an easy no. The vegan diet alone doesn't bring enough diversity to our bodies to be healthy. And additionally, the concerns of morality and the quality of the food needs to be considered both in the meat and dairy industry and in the plant-based industry. And that is why we emphasize eating organic and sustainably sourced whole foods with a diversity would be the best solution that we currently have to give you a balanced nutritional profile. One caveat, however, as we always say, bioindividuality is key. So there might be an instance where a vegan diet lifestyle worked 100% for an individual to get out of a medical condition or feel great every single day. However, the science we have today and the research we have today, depending on the evolution, does not prove that a vegan diet lifestyle is the blueprint for a healthy life. We apologize if we upset any of the vegan brothers and sisters out there. We invite you to have a conversation. Hope you enjoyed this video. Comment, like and share if you found this video helpful and we'll see you in the next video.